In this song lesson, we're going to take a look at a very classic rock and roll song, uh, Money by Pink Floyd. And this has a very distinctive bass line that everybody knows. As soon as they hear the bass line, they know that this song is coming on. Um, the tricky part about this song is it's not in a normal one, two, three, four meter. It's in an odd time signature. Um, it's in seven. But the, the, the best way to think about this is in groups of four and groups of three. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean as we get into the song. So here's the, the main bass line, the, very, the, the fundamental bass line for the song. It's in the key of B minor, and most of this uses the minor pentatonic scale for pretty much the whole thing, minus some chromatic things. Um, it's all based on minor pentatonic. So here's the main bass line. So it's uh, basically B, then the octave, and the fifth, the F sharp, back to B again and then down to the low F sharp and we go up the pentatonic scale. So from the five to the flat seven, to the one, to the flat third, the minor third, and back to the one again. And that's it, so. Now I'm using the open strings um, to, to make this, but you don't necessarily have to. It could be played the other way. So now, as far as the rhythm is concerned, uh, this is the way I count it in terms of it, the odd meter. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Or if you wanted to count it in seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you get used to it, uh, you should just be able to feel along, but that's that's the way to count through it to know that you're actually playing the rhythm correctly is to know that it's seven beats not not eight so it's one shy of what a normal phrase would be so okay so and most of the song just stays right on this same riff Um, but it's based around really a blues form and when there's a turnaround in the song instead of going like one to the four and then back to the one again and then five four one it just skips the four altogether stays on the one that riff the whole time and then we go straight to the five for the turnaround and that's a little bit tricky or a little bit different I should say so I'm gonna play a couple of rounds of the riff on the one and then I'm going to go to the five chord and play that riff, and then I'll break it down for you. So. And then I'm back to the one again. So let's take a look at that. I go to the five, the F sharp down so F sharp to the C sharp down to the low F sharp and then I go up the pentatonic minor scale but it's 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 skipping some of it not all of the pentatonic minor scale so F sharp A C sharp F sharp and then we go down chromatically to the four chord the E chord That's E, B, E, and then up its minor pentatonic scale. And then we start over again. So let me play that for you again. Let me do the same thing I get it, uh, that I did earlier, that play the riff twice in B, and then do this whole sequence of five, four to one. So. part 
work starts over again. Now let's say we're getting ready to go to the five. That's the basic cycle for uh, the first part of the song where the lyrics are sung. Um, and you know you can you'll you'll have to listen to the original recording to get the form because it really ties in with how the lyrics go and then you'll know when you go to that F sharp when you go to the five chord. Um, but one thing to remember when you get to the five chord in that riff, you want to wait there for a second. Um, the instinctual thing to do is just keep on playing in the pulse, but there's actually a slight pause there. So let me show that again. Pause. Then you go right th through. So you get back to B again. So there's that one little pause there. And that, and that helps, uh, or that allows the rhythm to remain in that seven feeling, that four and three, four and three feeling uh, throughout the five, four change. So um, um, that's basically, those are, the, those are all the riffs for the first part of the song. Um, when you finish that part of the song, you do that, that five, four turnaround, and then there's a buildup on the B chord, and we go into the saxophone solo. So let me, let me play that. And then I'll show you the next section here. So. This is the next section. Basically, what we're playing here is we're staying in, in B minor. We're playing the B and then going up to the minor third, the D, and then chromatically back down to the B. So I'm doing a little hammer on here into the B. So that's how you get into the solo section, into the saxophone solo. We play the five, four. Two bars. And then we play this section. Now, I don't know if you noticed there, but once we get to that buildup, everything switches over to regular four beat time, four, four time. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the, the, the seven is over with. For the rest of the song, it stays in four. Um, so if you can make it through the first part of the song where all the lyrics are, uh, then it gets a little bit easier in the jam section after that. So once we get into the jam section, it's that chromatic thing that I just showed you. And then it goes to the four chord. And uh, it does a chromatic thing, but it's slightly different. Uh, when we get to the four chord, the E minor chord, we just go down chromatically from E. that and then back to the B so after the last turnaround uh, during the singing part um, where we go to the five four and then back to the one again after that comes a sax solo and this basically uses the same riff and the same form as the verse and stays in the uh, the seven four or the seven the 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 meter of seven, four, and three. 
So here, let me give you an idea here. Starting from the turnaround on E. You play the riff twice. And this is the end of the regular part. And the sax starts here. And you're gonna play the riff eight times. That's the third time. Fourth time. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Um, and then, this is the only time this happens in the song, you're going to play the same riff, sorry, up on the E, on the fourth degree, you're going to play the riff. And you're going to play it four times in a row. It's the only time it happens in, a, in the song. So, coming off the last, last time around um, in the sax solo on the one chord, we'll go to the four. You're going to play that four times, and then back to the one. Um, so, But let me show you how I'm doing that on the four chord. I'm playing the E here, and doing the octave way up high, like that. And then, again, I'm using the, ma uh, the minor pentatonic form. play that part of the riff there. We go back down to the one chord for two times. And then When you get to the end of the sax solo, when you when you finish doing the five turnaround, and you come back to the B, you just play triplet eighth notes: one, two, three, four, five, six; one, two, three, four, five, six; one, two, three, four, five, six, for two bars, building up to the guitar solo. So let me let me do that again. Now, right there where I ended, that's the beginning of the guitar solo. And the meter changes now. It goes to a straight 4-4 four, four time. So there's no more of the 4 and 3 um, or the 7 meter. Um, so when you get to that B, you're going to play that for 8 beats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we're going to start the guitar solo. And you're, you're building up to this, you know. And it's just this chromatic thing on B minor. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a little hammer on into the B, like picking up into the B, and then hitting a short note on the minor third and going chromatically back down to B again. And what you're going to do once you've started this, you're going to do that for eight times. So, and then we're going to we're going to go to the four chord after that. So, bear with me. We'll just go through the whole thing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the four. And we do that for four times. And then back to the one. For four times. And then the five. And then we got a riff or a line. And the thing starts over again, although we've finished up with a few more bars of B. Let me break it down for you. So you the, the B riff we do eight times, 
And then when we go to the four chord, the E, it's a chromatic walk down from E, four notes. I was playing it here, so I was doing like E, E flat, D, D flat. But you could also play it here on the, on the A string altogether. And you do that for four times, and then you go back to the B for four times. And then we go to the five chord. It's going to go like this. We play the low F sharp, and then we play the high F sharp and chromatically walk down from it like that. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we do that two times. And then there's this final walk down riff. I'll show you that in a second here. So let me take it from uh, the four chord. Okay. So the four chord, we do this chromatic walk down from E. And we do it four times. Three, four. And then we go back to the B for four times. And now we're going to go to the five. Two times. And then we're going to do this walk down of the minor scale back down to B with a little chromatic thing at the end. So let me show you that. If you remember your B minor scale, one, two, one, I'm sorry, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. But we're gonna work backwards. We're gonna go down from the top. But we're gonna add this last chromatic note to land on the B at the end. So let me take it from the five chord again and show you how it goes together. And then we start all over again, like that, with the guitar solo. So, the five chord, then the huge walk down riff. And then four more times on the one. And then the cycle repeats all over again. We start again with the one and it goes for eight times. So that, that can be somewhat confusing. After you're finished with the riff, the cycle isn't really over with until you play four times on the one chord. And then the whole entire cycle starts over again with eight more times on the one chord, four times on the four chord, four times on the one chord, then two times on the five chord, and the walk down. So just to be clear, I'm going to play the whole guitar solo cycle one last time to make it clear. So I'll take it from the build up. This is the first time. Two. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And now we're going to go to the five chord for two times and then the walk down. Four more times on the one. And then we start all over again. So that's it. Those are all the parts for Pink Floyd's Money. Uh, again, a little bit more of a complicated tune with all the solos, the sax solo and the guitar solo, and the odd meter feel during the regular part of the song and the sax solo. So hopefully you enjoy that one. It's a real classic song and a really great bass line.